Dude, do you need a belt adjustment? Well, let me show you just how easy it is on the RX-1E. Keeping the belt of the RX-1E properly adjusted is very easy to do. It only requires a 19 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter wrench. The first thing we wanna do is loosen the axle nut so that the wheel is able to move back and forth freely within the swing arm. We're gonna loosen this axle nut and just get it enough where it's almost finger tight or in this case, finger loose, move the axle nut with your hand. Next thing we want to do is loosen the locking nut on each adjuster of both sides. So we'll use the 13 millimeter wrench to loosen the locking nut. Now I can use the 13 millimeter to adjust the bolt. There's one on each side, so this is something we're gonna go back and forth with. We wanna be consistent, and we're also gonna follow the guidelines within this pocket. Now on the left side, we'll loosen the locking nut, and then as we turn out or in, we're putting tension on the belt or letting tension off the belt. These are the guide markers. We wanna make sure that the adjusting plate is in the same position on both sides, so that the wheel is sitting square within the swing arm. You don't have one side too far up, but they're sit the axle is sitting square within that swing arm. Right now we're working with a belt that's too loose. There's way too much free play in this belt. I like to start my adjustment on the belt side of the swing arm and then kind of build up the tension to match on the right. And of course, go back and forth and follow those guide markers. Now that I have both sides even and the correct amount of tension that I want, I'm able to then lock down the nuts. Now, the tension of the belt is a happy medium. You don't want a belt that's too tight or you're putting undue stress on the shaft coming off the motor. You don't want one that's too loose or you could skip a tooth as it goes around the pulleys. There is a happy medium. I'm gonna use a ruler and I'm looking at approximately five millimeters of play in this small section between the, the, pull, the front pulley and then the lower belt guard. Belt drive motorcycles require a lot less maintenance than your traditional chain driven motorcycle. However, routine maintenance includes that inspection. You wanna be inspecting, making sure it's adjusted properly, but also inspecting the teeth on the belt, making sure that there are no cracks in the belt, no chips in the teeth, and you'll be good to go. Don't let motorcycle maintenance whip you because it's easy to do on the RX-1E. And until next time, enjoy the ride.